Welcome to Baron's Lair. As we pick up this plasma rifle, you'll see we get more than just a plasma rifle because there's a secret uh, voodoo doll somewhere that lowers when you pick that up. And there's also switches here that are hidden and get revealed later. We can just press them right now to pick up these secrets ahead of time. Pick up all that ammo. Some energy cells over here too. And over here. And let's see, I did that one. There's one over here as well with the map and some other things. Now we need the black door, which is opposite that one. And there's two revenants that will teleport over here. And we'll just deal with them before we go into the room. Because as you can hear, there's lots of revenants in there. Oh boy. Okay, oh. Let's wait for those rockets to impact. Well, let's, let's sit here and listen. Whoa, they hit me through the wall. Okay, um, pick up that medikit. Thank you, wall. <laughs> okay, now we'll just sit here, use our rockets to take out those revenants over there. Lose the missiles again. So we learned our lesson about Listening for revenant rockets next to a door. Don't do it, apparently. Let's see if we can just like run around and hit him with a shotgun. Armor. We should get that one. And there's one left. Let's make another trip around. And got him. Okay. Oh, there's some rockets over here I forgot about. Some more shells. We'll kill the make you buy first. Oh, hello. Normally it's the Mancubus uh, projectiles that glitch through the walls, not the Revenant rockets. Okay, there we are. And now we're gonna have a bit of an Arachnotron fight. Thankfully there's a backpack here though. Just kinda use cover to avoid their plasma. Use that pillar. And that's all of them. Now when we hit the switch, we'll open these doors. But there's also a door on the other side. And when we go here, kill that imp, we'll get to our next secret with a soul sphere. So this map has six secrets. That soul sphere is the third after we got those first two ahead of time by hitting those switches. And we'll pick up the red key and go back. And the fun thing is over, oh, over here by the red door, you see there's a co-op exclusive red key and also a stim back there. So in case you die and respawn, you don't need to go around and pick it up again. And I'll take out these barrels ahead of time. Now this room is interesting because there is going to be some pain elementals. Like that one there. And if we've learned one thing about Plutonia, it's that pain elementals are the absolute worst. And that's definitely not all of them. We need to clean up these lost souls before more come in. There we are. Right, still alive. Okay, I don't think we're done with the pain elementals yet. You can see there's lots of hell knights down there. And there's two more secrets here. If we shoot that and open it, we can get some rockets. We shoot that and open it and get some more rockets. Thankfully, the Hell Knights are numerous enough that they block this teleporter, so all of the you know, elementals spawned on this one could trap them down. Oh. Try not to get hit by the Kaku Demon. There we are. And having the backpack is rather nice. The hard part will just be angling the rockets so we don't hit ourselves. Let's just try to get them over here. 
There we are. There's one of you. If like that, if that happens. Get you. Should probably just jump down there soon. Now we can do it from here. Yep, the most dangerous part about this room is, well, after the pain elementals, is hitting yourself with a rocket. And now we come over to the blue door. No, no key over here. And we will hit this switch and back out. And just punch the air. We see we have a co-op BFG in this level, which is quite useful. Let's not get hit by 10 million rev rockets. Thankfully, there's a nice staircase we can back up to here. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Are you gonna orbit me? Yeah, you can get rockets to uh, to orbit you. It's gonna hit, to hit something though. Now they're at the point where trying to target me is difficult because they're so close to the door. I think the shotgun's probably the most reliable way of hitting them. The rockets seem to be hitting the staircase. That should be all of them. Oh, there's another pinky here. Good old turbo pinky. There's lots of shells scattered about here. This water actually will hurt you in the fountain. But we have a couple switches here. That'll open up the final area. We'll hit the center of the fountain to lower it. Hop on this platform. Then lower it. Yeah, I missed. Need to lower it again so we can pick up the BFG. There we are. Oh, I think I actually did pick it up. Okay, now here's the last area. Maybe I should have saved that Mega Sphere a bit longer. Oh well. Yeah, I definitely should have. Let's maybe we can take out some chain gunners with a BFG blast. I think that helped a bit. off. Alright. This will reveal some revenants. Actually, let's just use the BFG. We have plenty of cells. Make sure there's no rockets chasing me. And now we will reveal this is normally the first Cyber Demon in Plutonia. Now we need to get him to come out here a bit though. So we actually can hit him. Come on. Yeah, plenty of ammo, no need to be fancy with it. And there we are. Pick up all of these rockets that we're not gonna use. Oh, but yeah, I forgot we actually have to hit both those switches real quick. And that will open up the path to the exit. Why not just pick up those shells? And we'll check that's all the kills and all the secrets. And there is Baron's Lair. So, that is the end of the first six levels of Plutonia. The first uh, chapter before the story. These ones aren't too bad, actually. Uh, the hard part starts next with 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then 11, we get a bit of a respite. It's easier. But the, the next few levels will be significantly more difficult than these. So we'll go to our dead simple clone for the next level. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.